All right, welcome back, guys. This is Ivan from Bravest.com. And um, if you watch my prior videos, you saw that I was working on some uh, movie props uh, that I was asked to create from somebody who's uh, making a movie. And uh, this is the last one I'm going to show you today. So the first one was the CryoTube panel. Uh, the second one was the code breaker. And this last one is the door lock keypad. So there you go. There it is. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that. So uh, basically this one, I didn't use a PC board, a perf board like this one. I managed to find these old uh, keypads. Uh, and basically uh, what they do, they're basically matrixes. So it's the same type of keypad that we've, we've used before, except they, it looks like a telephone, like these old uh, push-button telephone keypads. And I was able to take a nano like this one uh, without... Uh, being soldered uh, without the pins being soldered to it and I was able to slip this guy directly on the keypad like this and then solder it on the keypad so what happened is that as you can see here there's no PC board inside so the modules are taped to the bottom of this acrylic plate and I managed to cut out on the laser cutter uh, all the little buttons here and we have two LEDs. We have a red and a green. Red being locked, green being opened. And let me see if I can show you inside here. And if you flip on the other side, you can see the Nano right there. And I've just used regular jumper cables uh, without soldering anything, so it was, this one was easier to make. Uh, what was harder is actually designing this on the laser cutter. And also this little slot here, because if you remember in the last one, we created this card that was connected to the code breaker on the other end, like this. So this thing slips inside right here, as you can see. <clears throat> so when the character gets close to the door, you can slip this in from the code breaker, find the code, enter the code on the keypad, and get access. <laughs> so let me plug it in, and I'll show you uh, what it does. Uh, so it's using the same type of battery that we use for the other two. So I'm going to remove this cable, put this one, because the cable is different on the Nano. So let me turn this guy around. Like so, let me plug it in here. There we are. Let me turn it back. And let me prop it up a little bit here. So there you go. Uh, at the beginning when I designed this, when it was locked, uh, I put on the LCD screen lock, and when you enter the code and it opens it, then it would say open. Uh, he came back and he said, okay, I want, when it's locked, I don't want anything, and then you enter the code and it flashes the code. Uh, so basically, the code is 1068. Didn't want the code to appear there. Now, if you enter the asterisk, it's like entering a bad code. And it does that. Now, if you, these keys, you can enter anything. I didn't program these, so the guy, if you make a mistake or something, it'll still work. This is the key that you press to open the door. You see the green flashes the code and goes back to lock. So there you go, guys. That's it. Of all the props, I like this one. I like the fact that there's a little slot here to put a card in. So to connect to the code breaker. So uh, now this one is this is the one I like the best, and uh, yeah. So hopefully this will show up pretty good on the movie. So let's go back to the main camera and wrap it up. So there you go, guys. These are the three props that I made uh, for uh, this uh, this movie that these guys are creating. Uh, they turned out pretty good. I had a good experience with them. Uh, the sad part is, is that once they're done, I have to ship them out and I'll probably never see them again. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys ever worked on a project and then you, you uh, get rid of it or you give it to somebody else. Or, but uh, every time I do something like this and I have to um, you know, ship them out because it was a project that I was working on, uh, I'm kind of sad because you know, we you work hard on these projects. Uh, but since this is going to be featured in a movie, uh, we're probably going to see them again. So hopefully uh, the guy creating the movie, like he said, he's going to send me clips of the actual props being used in the movie. So I'll let you guys uh, know about that and ask him if I can show them on my YouTube channel. And if I can, then, uh, you know, it's going to be cool to see these three things uh, being used in a movie. 
So that's it for today, guys. Um, next time I'm going to do, uh, start doing tutorials again, which we uh, always do. Uh, but like I said, I was working on this project and had a uh, deadline to meet. So um, like I would say, guys, if you like these videos, uh, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have comments or questions or um, suggestions for future projects, please let us, let us know. We make a list and we uh, have time. We do one of them. So once again, guys, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.